Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Edition. Pick your team number 10 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Folks, this is our last, I didn't realize it, but this is our last case of uh, Jumbo. We do have Hobby in the store, though. So check it out. Hobby, 12 box Hobby cases on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So here on the 29th, 8 box Jumbo number 10. Here are the folks that pick their teams. Thanks to Jason for grabbing the Red Sox, last spot mojo. Thomas Hull, congrats to him. With That's why he has a little thing next to his name. He won the Angels in a spot randomizer, and Scott won the Yankees in a spot randomizer. So congrats to you too. There's everyone else right here. Good luck to everyone, and thank you to everybody else as well for filling up this break. It takes the whole team to fill up the group break. So thank you. So yeah, so for people looking for more Topps Chrome Baseball, we do have 12 box hobby editions. We've got a few of those cases still remaining. So check that out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We currently have a random team break on the site. Once we sell that out, maybe I can convince Nick to create a PYT version of that, a pick your team version of that. All right, so there's all eight boxes right there. Five autos per box. The hobby edition has two autographs per box. So it's a little bit, it costs a little bit less than the jumbo. But still the same great hits. In fact, I think the Hobby Edition also has those orange cards too. I think they're exclusive to the Hobby. Hobby Editions. All right. Good luck, everyone. Box number one of eight. After this, nothing else is sold out, ladies and gentlemen. So go to jazbeeshobbyland.com. Let's make something happen, although this break will take about 40, 50 minutes. So we do have some time to think about what we want to work on after this. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. First autograph is Max Freed. Taking it to the max. Nice rookie auto for Sen Yin and the Braves. Fifty two out of four ninety nine. Nice refractor autograph. We got Tyler Wade, autograph for the Yankees, Scott. With the Yankees, nice. And then we've got Scott Kingery. Nice rookie out of Scott Kingery for the Phillies. Thomas Olsen with the fight and fills. We got Jackson Stevens, rookie auto for the Reds. That'll be for Scott and the Red Legs. One, two, three. We should be expecting one more autograph out of here. 
And we'll uh, all these short prints and whatnot parallels will set aside. We'll have them sleeved up and top loaded by our shipping team before they go out. <coughs> Excuse me. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze through those. Unless it's 25 or under. There's Chris Bryant to 150 for the Cubs. And we got Alex Mejia. Some of these cards are upside down. Cardinals, that goes to Jeff Dabney with that one. No social media for Alex. It's not, not for him. We'll save some of these Otanis for the Angels spot as well. Is that a bonus right there? One, two, three, four, five, and a redemption. Uh-oh. Set that up there for a second here. Any guesses on this redemption, ladies and gentlemen? All right, well, let's see who it's going to be. So behind Future Stars' Lewis Brinson, congrats. You are due to receive a rookie autograph purple refractor par parallel. Rex guessing a Chris Bryan or an Ian Happ. J? Shohei doesn't start with J. J.P. Crawford. There you go. J.P. Crawford for the Phillies. All right, there you go, J.P. Crawford. It's a above average box, ladies and gentlemen. An extra autograph. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, next one. Rex was asking earlier, Joe, who do you think has the best chance of Rookie of the Year for both leagues? Think it'll actually be Torres and Albius. I actually agree with Tiger Driver. I think uh, I think it'll be Miguel Andujar who's going to win the a AL Rookie of the Year, uh, as opposed to Glaber Torres. But I think it'll probably be. Uh, I actually think it might be Ronald Acuna Jr. over Ozzy Albius. And Stephen K, that was, Chance Disco is, is always a good guess for redemption. I think uh, I think Juan Soto could be a good dark horse candidate for uh, for NL Rookie of the Year as well. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Box two in Pick Your Team 10. Our last jumbo case, but we have plenty of hobby case. There's Alex Verdugo, rookie auto for the Dodgers. Chris Parent has my Dodgers. There you go. Doogie, 11. Doogie, 11. That is uh, for Chris Parent, of course. And my Dodgers, Verdugo should be a September call-up. And there is, there it is, the rookie medallion. This is one per case. And we have not seen an autographed one yet. I think some of these can be autographed. We've seen some lower-numbered ones. I think we saw an orange one a while back. 
but we have not seen an autographed one. But that'll go to the Astros. King D with his Strohs. And there's Ryder Jones, Oppo Joe Mojo. Going Oppo is Jeff with the Giants. Out of 499. So we got Dodgers and Giants popping out of there. And another redemption behind a purple Jackie Bradley Jr. Any guesses on that redemption? That could, that, that could be the chance Cisco, Stephen K. <laughs> Rex, I don't think anyone's going to rag on you for being a homer. I think I think I think I'm pretty sure that you think there's no other players in the league outside of Cubbies. There's Manny Margot out of ninety. He's got a good chance though, actually. Javier Baez. But I think people people may like the uh, people may like the the Cardinal story as much as that probably pains you to hear. Oh, nice. Victor Caratini. Cubbies. Eric Bailey. And Otani Prism. That might that might get your spot money your spot random money back. Just that one card alone. That trout insert will go to you. Only vet base doesn't ship in this. And Greg Allen, rookie autograph. Well, uh, Rex, who is who is leading the NL in war and wins above replacement? There's Greg Allen for the Indians. That'll be for Eric Bailey. I feel like... I feel like a lot of baseball writers are now relying on that a bit more. Oh, right, the redemption. I was like, where's that fifth auto? It's the redemption. I think a lot more baseball writers are using wins above replacement as kind of a, a, a better gauge on how to vote. I think that's good, though. All right, so no other guesses except for Stephen K. Guessing a chance, Cisco. So behind Jackie Bradley Jr. is, congrats, you are due to receive. A rookie autograph, no parallel, of R. Chance doesn't start with R. Ro Ronald, Ro Ronald? Ronald Acuna? Nice. Jackie Bradley's 124 out of 299. That's a great one for the Braves. Sen Yin with the Braves. Possible uh, rookie of the year candidate right there. So another nice box in the books. All right. Next box. Do I have do I have picks for you today? I have, I think I do. For entertainment purposes, of course. Um, I've got the Nationals plus one and a half runs. We've got the twin. I've got the Twins plus one sixty-two, only down by a couple runs early in the game. I've got the Rays, who are delayed in Atlanta, and I've got the the San Francisco Giants plus one and a half runs. There you go. They're, those are my those are my picks of the day for entertainment purposes only on a Wednesday, Wednesday twenty eighth. You think the people should be able to vote for MVP? 
Oh, I think that would be a that'd be an S show. I agree. Derek Doubting. It would just be Yankees and Dodgers. It'll just be big market teams winning MVP every year. I think that would be a terrible. Don't give the people that choice. Remember when it remember when it was all uh all right, today's the 29th, sorry, Wednesday 29th. Oh, 30th for Ben in Australia. He's in the future. I I I think I think voting for the All-Star game which is amounts to be an is was just an exhibition game is a lot different Rex from voting for like MVP. Should we should we vote for rookie of the year too? I don't think fan votes should get that. Those can be rigged really easily too. Russian bots could get in the way. I don't know if the baseball writers is 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 perfect either, but I think definitely not give the people the vote <laughs> for that. All right, behind Rudruff is Benintendi and Ozzy Albius. Wow, Braves. So that's out of 150. So Sen Yin with the Braves gets the Acuna Jr. and the Ozzy Albius, another potential Rookie of the Year candidate. Out of 250. Right, exactly, Boombox. Reddit or 4chan will probably mess up the voting and make someone like Jaden Smith the MVP. It'd be it'd be an S show. I don't think I don't think I don't even think Major League Baseball would be equipped to handle that. There's out of ninety nine. And hashtag Bonda Love. Anthony Bonda, friend of Jaspie's Hobbyland. No worry, Senyan. It's a couple nice autographs right there. Or some or someone with uh with big like social media presence could just like sway votes. We got Rowdy Reed for uh, Jake and the Nationals. <laughs> the, as opposed to the fake Rowdy Reeds that are out there. And there's Brivek Valera for the Redbirds. That'll go to Jeff with that, uh, with the Cardinals. And we got Parker Bridwell. The exactly the pitcher that Thomas Hull is looking for from the Angels. All right, next box. That's right. I remember when Justin Bieber did a vote for what country would start the world tour, his world tour, and 4chan got North Korea to win. Right. Um, I'm looking at. Let's look at the AL really quick. 
your war, your leader in war wins above replacement, which generally is, is a nice general kind of broad, broad sort of look at the overall value of a player relative to the average, his peers. So leading, the three leaders in war are within a, a decimal point of each other. Uh, Mookie Betts is at 8.2. Jose Ramirez of the Indians, 8.1, and Mike Trout of the Angels, 8. The next closest person after that is Lindor with 6.9. So I feel like those three players, I mean, Trout's always in the mix, right? I feel like those three players are your, should be your favorites for the M AL MVP. And in the NL, your war leaders are... No, I, no one's even close to those guys in, in the AL. Uh, Matt Carpenter has a 5.2 war. Goldschmidt has a 4.9 war. Nolan Arenado, 4.8. Now we've got one, two, three, three guys tied at 4.7. Lorenzo Cain, Javier Baez, and Freddie Freeman. So kind of uh, kind of hard to hard to decide, I think. In the NL. There's Michael Conforto and a Chris Stratton. More Oppo Joe Mojo for the Giants. Jeff with that one. 83 out of 150. Goldschmidt has a if if the if the Diamondbacks beat am I wearing my Dodgers hat? Yeah. If the Diamondbacks beat the Dodgers. For the for the NL West, I could see goal, and if Goldschmidt continues to hit the way he's been hitting the last couple months or so, he might get the MVP. There's Harrison Bader. It's a dark horse candidate for the NL Rookie of the Year. Matt Carpenter is a couple points ahead, like a couple decimal points ahead of. Goldschmidt, but Carpenter, same deal. If the Cardinals kind of storm back the way they have since firing Matheny, and with Carpenter just being on fire, just raking, that might be another MVP candidate right there too. Arenado's in the mix as well. There's Curie Maya for the Red Legs. There's Trevor Bauer, purple. 211 at 299. And we've got Cody Allen, another Indian parallel at a 99. And Brian Anderson, who's been having a nice year for the Marlins. One more autograph to go. It's going to be Lucas Sims, another brave for Sen Yin. And that's that. All right, we're halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen.
Good luck, boys and girls. Now, I think there was some talk about... I gotta, I gotta look in the AL again. Now, there's a chance... There's a chance that J.D. Martinez, ladies and gentlemen, could win the Triple Crown. Now, if J.D. Martinez wins the Triple Crown, does he get the uh, does he get the AL MVP award? Even though, even though his WAR is five point four, almost a full three points less than his teammate Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts, a, a few wins more valuable than J.D. Martinez, but J.D. Martinez has. Has the narrative, this the like the sexy triple crown kind of badge. If he gets it, he's pretty close. That's what happened to Mike Trout one year. You guys remember that? Miguel Cabrera won the triple crown, and I don't think it was even a, a good Miguel Cabrera kind of year. But he just managed to win the triple crown. Just statistically, he's got it. Um. But I think Mike Trout had definitely had a better wins above replacement. He should have won that year, but triple crown and the baseball voters are like, yeah, automatic. But I think I, th I think stats, the sabermetrics guys are just like, man, that's not really that's not a good indicator. There's Andrew Stevenson for Jake and the Nationals, and it kind of isn't. I think I read somewhere that that not all triple crown winners have actually won the MVP. So it shouldn't really be an automatic. But it's a good story. And so I think that also sways the votes of baseball writers. There's Dylan Peters. Is that gold? It is. 36 out of 50 for Thomas Hutchings. With the fish. 36 out of 50. Cy Young, I feel like, is pretty tough. I'm sure you can use war in Cy Young voting to kind of get a broad idea of how good a pitcher is. There's Troy Scribner out of 150. Wait, did I not do this pile right here? What's this pile? There we go. But it's hard to say. I, I guess, I guess ERA is a pretty good indication. There's Tomas Nito for the Mets. James with that one. I know wins aren't really. I think everyone knows by now that wins aren't exactly the best measure of a pitcher. We'll look at some stats in a second here. Let me go through this box here. Yeah, wins wins almost should never be an, an, an indication. Or a, such a huge criteria just cuz it's wins are kind of random. For the Astros, King D, JD Davis. Nomar Mazzara, purple, two ninety nine. Should be one more autograph in here. And there's Zach Granite. Zach Granite rookie auto for Jeff and the Twins.
All right, so we've got three boxes to go. We're, we're almost there, folks. Not sure what we're going to do next, but I'm sure we'll figure out something on jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right, so for, let's just take a look at the NL really quick. So for war, it's Jacob deGrom. No, yeah, Jacob deGrom's not leading in wins. The, the Mets are... Mets are kind of terrible. They don't and, and they don't like to score runs for Jacob Degrom. Uh, so he's eight, yeah he's eight and eight. But the wins really don't matter that much to me. I think when you're measuring a pitcher, right? But his wins above replacement is six point nine. It's almost a full point higher than the next guy, Max Scherzer, and Aaron Nola, and Patrick Corbin. Those are your top five WAR or top four WAR guys. Five point five and up. Jake DeGrom with six point, almost seven already at this point in the season. Next closest is John Gray at 3.5. So he's, he's not even in that conversation. Um, but yeah, I think those are the those are the names being thrown around for uh, for Cy Young, for NL Cy Young. DeGrom with his 171 ERA. Scherzer and Nola kind of battling it out as well. And then uh, and Patrick Corbin. Although Patrick Corbin doesn't have an ERA that looks as nice as Nola's 2.1 or Scherzer's 2.22 or DeGrom's 1.71. But as it stands, yeah, DeGrom, Scherzer, or Nola will probably be probably be your guys. Who would you guys pick? DeGrom, Scherzer, or Nola? There's Ronaldo Herrera, 231 out of 499. Refractor autograph for the Rangers. Richard Lupu with that one. We can use, we can use the uh, we can use the FIP or the XFIP. I think DeGrom leads those too. His FIP 207, XFIP 272. I like XFIP a little bit better. Another one, starting your uh, Ron Herrera PC, Richard, whether you like it or not. Yeah, Scherzer is definitely in the conversation. There's Tanner Scott. Thomas with the Orioles. There's Aaron Althier, 81 out of 99 for the Phillies. Oh, I like that, Bill. Bill's, Bill's wondering, hey, wonder how much innings pitched should matter given the use of bullpens, right? Since starting pitchers are not pitching as, as deep into games as they had in the past. Do you get a little more credit for how many innings you pitch, you know, as a, as as a as a workhorse? You know, I, I think Scherzer is always leading that. He's got 186 innings. I think it's about maybe I don't know when this guy's last start was, but I think that's like 10 more innings than Degrom, followed closely by Aaron Nola. But yeah, he's he's almost always leading that category. So. 
that kind of be ability to pitch late, that durability. Yeah, I'm sure you get some credit for that. It's hard to split. I think, like I said, the wins above replacement for all for those three pitchers were pretty close. But yeah, Scherzer is is leading the counting stats pretty well. You know, strikeouts, wins, and still a great ERA. So he might get the edge. Out of 150, Austin Hayes, nice looking one for Thomas. There's a couple of Orioles in there. There's Ray's edition of Anthony Banda out of 75. His autograph, still a Diamondback, but his parallels are on his new team, the Rays. All right. But yeah, also it feels like also maybe uh, if your team has a deeper bullpen, you get less innings. Yeah, you'll get less innings. So maybe the counting stats don't matter as much, and we'd have to go by K per nine, right? And I think your K per nine, Max Scherzer is still the highest. Yes, twelve point zero one strikeouts per nine. The next that's almost a full point higher, a full strikeout higher than Degrom and Corbin. So that uh, that'll help adjust the strikeouts stats. But I, th I think Max Scherzer gets burned by uh, – it, it's like Mike Trout, right? Mike Trout should win pretty much every year. That's just how good he is. Like LeBron James could win the MVP in the NBA in basketball every year. But they don't always do that. <laughs> you know, so like Scherzer could win it every year. But, you know, but Jacob deGrom with his exceptional ERA – and his sort of hard luck story, how the Mets don't score runs for him, may be what sways the baseball writers. All right, next box. We'll go to the AL pitching side in just a second. Brandon Woodruff is your first auto out of this box. For the Brew Crew, that'll be for Scott. Miss Tyler Maley, 88 out of 99 for the Reds. There's Reyes Moronta. Feel like the future big sexy. That goes to the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo for Jeff. And there's Dominic Smith. For the Metropolitans, that'll be for James. One forty-five out of one fifty on that one. A couple more autographs to go. And then our last box, uh, Alex Wood, out of 50. The gold is kind of subtle on this. That's for the Dodgers, Chris Parent with that one. And there's Sandy Alcantara for Thomas and the Fish. I think I heard that the Marlins... I think in section in like section 305 or something like that will allow uh, and encourage people to bring musical instruments, drums and band gear and whatnot. So 
That should be a blast. I think the A's do that too, right? There's Kyle Farmer. Versatile Dodger. Probably be a September call-up. Just a few days, actually. Goes to Chris Parent and my Dodgers. Last box. Thomas Hull needs me to do the Otani Rain. I don't I don't have an Otani Rain dance. They just they just just they just magically appear. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, hopefully we can find more of this kid here. In the AL, I think there's really only three pitchers uh, that are in this AL Cy Young conversation in terms of starting, I mean, kind of starting with the broad perspective, wins above replacement. Chris Sale, 6.1. Trevor Bauer, 5.9. And Garrett Cole, uh, 5.4. Your wins leader, Luis Severino, is in fifth place in war, just behind Justin Verlander with 4.5. Verlander's 4.6. But Cole has at least five in wins above uh, above replacement. Trevor Bauer almost at six, and Chris Sale a little over six. Who do you guys think? What do you think, boys and girls? Who wins the... Uh, who wins a Cy Young in the AL? Wow, Chris Sale's ERA is 1.97. Verlander has a lot of starts, though. He's got five more starts than Chris Sale. Chris Sale has been on the shelf for a little bit. Rex saying it's pretty good. funny how good sale is, but his cards don't sell for much. I think he's he's that's true. I I, I agree with you on that. I it's got to be. I don't know, he's got a nice autograph though. You would think that it would do better. Um, he's just kind of a. I I mean this in the best possible way. He kind of doesn't have a personality. <laughs> you know, he's just a chill dude. Like he's just kind of does his business. He's not on. Not not really. I don't even know if he's on social media. He's not very loud on social media if he is. There's Victor Arano. Uh, when did what happen last, Mr. Mike's daddy? He might be lagging behind. Yaz? Oh yeah, Bauer has been on the DL. Out of two ninety nine, Jose Ramirez could be an MVP candidate. Mister Lapara, not sure what that means. And the other Angels pitcher, Troy Scribner, for Thomas Hall and the Angels. And nice, Walker Bueller, future Dodger ace, going to Chris Parent and my Dodgers. Kind of a short start from yesterday, but he should be, should be fine. Yeah, Blake Snell does have a, he has a 205 ERA. He could, he could certainly make a late run. He wasn't really up there in terms of war, though. Snell is all the way down in 10th. Uh, among qualified starters, just behind James Paxton with 3.3, and just ahead of Dallas Keuchel at 2.9. What's up, Rob? And a nice green Raphael Devers, 62 out of 99. So, yeah, Snell could make a late run. He has been pitching pretty well. J.J. Mintner.
We've got a redemption coming up, folks. Is this our chance, Cisco? Any guesses on that last redemption? There's Richard Urena, rookie auto for the Blue Jays. Jeff with the Blue Jays. Right, it could be could be a Cisco. We haven't seen him yet, or an Otani parallel. That'll make Thomas Hall very happy. He'd be thrilled about that. We're gonna find out. I don't think Kershaw is put put in the put in the innings for that conversation. A Willie Adams could be one, yeah. All right, congratulations, someone, you are due to receive a rookie autograph refractor parallel of R. Shoei doesn't start with R. Is this another Ronald Acuna? Wow. A second Ronald Acuna Jr. for Sen Yin and the Braves. That's a very good way to end. Pick your team number 10 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got more Topps Chrome Baseball in the store, folks. jazbeeshobbyland.com. We have a 12-box hobby edition um, in the store. Random teams. So check it out. You can get the Angels for a fraction of the price. Keep chasing those Otanis and all these other big hits. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll break with you next time.